Hi everyone, this is Jagyasa Chauhan and here with me is Aditya Pratap Singh Chauhan from IPM Batch 2022 who has recently been on the news for receiving the Pradhan Mantri Rashtra Bal Puraskar for in, under the innovation category. So Aditya, first of all, I would like to congratulate you on your success. So would you like to elaborate uh, your journey to achieving that? Yeah, sure. So thank you very much. Uh, so this project began at around grade 9, uh, late 9 and grade 10. So I was reading a research article which uh, wherein I found about microplastics. So this term uh, in particular excited me and like made me curious as to what uh, is microplastics. I might uh, want to look into it. And when I read more about it through articles, journals, research papers, I found out that microplastics is definitely one of the uh, increasing problems that can very soon become one of the global issues and I believe I had a wish to pursue research uh, at the same time so I thought of continuing towards this field and after doing a lot of literature review and experiments a lot of uh, reaching out to experts scientists talking to uh, people I came up with this idea uh, came up with this project Micropa so it is uh, it is a novel approach for detection and filtration of microplastics that are present in drinking water so right now we are just focusing into uh, the tap water samples that we get in our homes so the process in it uh, actually goes by we use a biochemical dye called uh, nile red so we use this dye to stain microplastics in a particular sample that we take from our tap waters and then uh, this staining process occurs for about uh, 30 minutes after that uh, these microplastic sample uh, is kept under uh, light of particular wavelength so those are usually crime lights or UV rays as we say it and then an aerial image of the same can be taken and uploaded to an algorithm that we have developed so this is like an open CV based uh, AI algorithm that works on identifying these spots of uh, stained spots of microplastics and that in fact can predict the number of microplastic particles that are present in the sample. The next part being the filtration system. So this, we tried to make it uh, very much simple as as simple as just a filter cartridge. Uh, we're just replacing the filtering agent that we use inside. And that is particularly a bio, uh, a biological agent. So we uh, go for a microalgae called Rhodomenas salina. And we use this microalgae to uh, form aggregates with the microplastics and then filter them out. So this is how the system works. Okay, so that's very interesting and obviously deserving of the awards that you have gotten. So would you like to explain your journey to Delhi and meeting the Prime Minister and all of that? Yeah, so like the last week of January was the time uh, where uh, multiple events were scheduled uh, at New Delhi. So it was definitely uh, an experience of a different level. Uh, something that you can experience only once in a lifetime kind of thing. So. It all it started with our reception at 20, on 21st January. So we uh, there are 11 awardees this year uh, from all across India. So they, all the awardees and their parents were invited, and we were received on 21st. Then on 23rd was the main event uh, at Vigyan Bhavan, New Delhi was the felicitation of the award by Honorable President Shrimati Draupadi Murmu, and that was an experience in itself, like uh, the. The, just the feeling of meeting the president uh, in person and then uh, receiving best wishes from her was something really wonderful. The next day was in fact much more uh, much more wonderful for me. Uh, we, we visited the PM Sangrahale. So this is a museum uh, about all the prime ministers where we had an, we learned more about the museum and uh, there itself we had an interaction with uh, Minister Srimati Smriti Irani and that was a wonderful experience she is like uh, the most amazing per person you can find she is humble she is down to earth and she interacts very well with the children and that was it uh, there were a few media sessions uh, therein and after that we headed over directly to the pm house so again that was a feeling of like kind of a dream moment visit meeting the prime minister especially uh, meeting uh Sri Naren Modi. That was a wonderful experience. So we went over there, went to his house, had a few uh, high tea. Then we interacted with him like uh, for, it went on for about 40 to 45 minutes where we talked about uh, our projects, our works. And, and we also got a chance to question uh, 
the advices we can take from him uh, question about the things that we might follow uh, in the future to make to uh, continue our path in this field and he definitely gave some of the very thoughtful answers and uh, suggestions that might help us throughout okay so what was your main key take away from like your interaction with all such dignitaries well i would say all of this interaction definitely inspired me to take a step ahead like not stop over here uh, continue my work in this field of research uh, another proud moment uh, in new delhi was when we were part of 26 uh, january republic day parade so that in fact uh, you know the feeling when you are passing through uh, your sitting on a jeep going on the kartavya path and there are like thousands of people just cheering you up applauding for you and then there is the president president of egypt the prime minister of egypt who was the uh, chief guest so all of these dignitaries do in fact bring up a sense of inspiration and motivation to not stop here and just keep continuing uh, like continue to do things that might actually benefit a human kind that's great So, what is your path forward that you have thought related to this project? Are you developing it as a business? Are you, मतलब, what is the plan for it? Yeah. So, uh, right now, what I would should say is that uh, this we, I have come to a stage where we have the prototype for the project. We we have the prototype for the device, but the scientific accuracy can be uh, made much more efficient. Such as the filtration system currently has an efficiency of ninety uh, percent. but you do know that unless a filtration a water filtration unit goes up to 99 or greater uh, percentage of efficiency those are not really accepted by people because and obviously it should not be so my plans for now are to maybe uh, when i get the right opportunity to work on the scientific development to increase the efficiency of the product and then yeah once i have the efficient product ready the final product we can do both of it I surely would think of uh, coming up with a venture that might uh, provide a commercial product in the market and actually create an impact. That's great. Um, considering that you are a man of scientific interest, so would you mind explaining or like your rationale behind coming to a B school and pursuing IPM as a degree? Okay, so yeah, it's true that I worked on a science project and I did study science in uh, grade eleven and twelve, but. again like the two years the last two years of high school was a phase of transition for me in a way that uh, i was so much heavily involved in research i started finding the uh, methodology the process of research much more interesting than the content uh, that i focus into so i really like the part where we get to question a particular thing that just exists in this is in this world and then try reading about it try learning about it talking to other people about it learning new things and then sort of maybe come up with a way that you can create a simple solution to a big problem so the, the whole uh, thought process of uh, actually brain, brainstorming for uh, such a problem it's definitely something that excites me so i thought of, when i heard of, of the ipm program so this was a program of multiple disciplines and that is something i have i was going for i was aiming for uh, to be able to grasp uh, a little bit of everything uh, so that so that i can like put a multiple perspectives at point of uh, critical situations when i have to come up with a solution to a problem and then i might should i should not just think uh, like an engineer or just like a doctor so i should be able to like come up with different perspectives the Uh, philosophical perspectives behind it the ethical reasoning behind it the psychological effects too so all of that combined uh, actually encouraged me to make this my final decision as to join IPM program right and how has your IPM journey been so far well the IPM journey has been really incredible so uh, first of all like finding uh, 150 other super uh, brilliant uh, minds from all across the country the peer group is just amazing so you get to interact i get to interact with like a lot of wonderful people and like i learn from them a lot every day and that is something i really find encouraging and the ecosystem over here is uh, very supportive the competition is uh, 
competition in, actually encourage encourages you to not stop at one point and just uh, try to make yourself better and better every day so that you are able to uh, evolve into the best version of yourself so i think the journey has been going wonderful and i really see for our outcomes thank you so much for taking the time out for this interview we congratulate you again and wish the best for your future endeavors okay thank you very much it's been a pleasure